Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with more Futurama. This is season two, episode 20. It is the season finale, and I hope they have something great in store for us. Last time we had Mom Mother's Day, which celebrated Mom, and Farnsworth had to seduce her in order to stop the robot invasion, and uh, actually genuinely fell for her again. So yeah, uh, that was fun to watch unfold. Let's uh, see what we have in store for us this time. If you want to watch the full reaction or you want to see early reactions, check out Patreon in the link in the description below. Otherwise, take a quick moment to leave a like and let's get started. Painstakingly drawn before a live audience? I've invented a device which allows you to operate equipment from great distances. I call it the thing longer. There. <laughs> it's a pool. What did you just turn on with it? Oh, that's just the what if machine I invented. You pose it a what if question and it generates a video simulation of what would happen. That's really, really cool. Work? Of course it. What if? I've never really felt accepted at parties or nude beaches. So I've always secretly wondered. What if I was 500 feet tall? What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> I'm so lonely since I came to the future. Will you be my friend? Ow! Ow. I'll be your friend, Fry. <laughs> Will you be my friend? No. Put her there, pal. Oh. I meant your wallet. Oh. Oh, go uh, oil spill. Aww. Oh no. Kentucky Slims. It's chicken flavored cigarettes. Oh yeah, that comes to shake. The robot's not your Plugs. enemy. He's just a poor misunderstood. Oh. oh. Ah, uh, yeah. Aw. Kiff died too, but Zap Brannigan's dead, at least. That's a better world. Nothing can stop a monster that big. Nothing except an even equally big monster. This oh, no. is a chance to try out my experimental enlarging ray. Oh, Zoidberg. Giant Zoidberg! What's this? Two You're gonna eat. in one week? No, 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 no. Oh. So now Zoidberg is big, huh? That's more like it. <laughs> Who's intimidating? Who now, big city? I think he was uh, supposed to Apollo Theater. Help? Boom me off stage on open mic night, huh? I'll show you. Ah! Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> They're causing more destruction. <laughs> oh, that's a slingshot. Wow. <laughs> Luxury River View Apartments. Who wants lobster bisque? <laughs> Shrinky dicks. Uh oh. He's redder. Oh. Yay? No. He'll be fine. This gentle visitor is dying. And we'll never even know why he came. I came here with a simple dream. A dream of killing all humans. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. Care to give the what if machine a world? <laughs> Maybe later. I, I what mean, if I parents? Don't know what to ask about. Yes, Come you do. On, woman, just yes, you do. Something. Yeah, be more impulsive. Let's do it. Make that machine show me what would happen if I was a little more impulsive. Oh. Just a little. Just a little. New boots. They're like my old ones, but with a crazy green stripe. Woo! <laughs> Never know Woo. what I'm gonna do next. I can't live forever, and I need an heir. That's why I made <laughs> you my soul heir. Wow. The day I die, you'll be a very wealthy woman. One There's an axe in the background. Yeah. Or he just, she just oh. kicks him in. I just told you, you've killed me. <laughs> oh no. Yikes. 
All right, so you're nonchalant. Quit rubbing our noses in it. Sweet giant antita of Santa Anita. The professor's been eaten by giant antita. It so happens I have mail order degrees in murderology and murderonomy. Zoidberg is afoot. <laughs> Zoidberg is afoot. Can... A new will. Name in. <gasps> you as his sole heir. Oh, now she has to kill Hermes. All right, Anteater number one. Who are you protecting? L.A. Like, are you hacking off? Is it my torso? It is! My precious torso! Hermes, quiet. I'm deducing things. <laughs> and now Hermes is mysteriously missing. Anyhow, it doesn't affect me, Vander. Hey, what's this? Oh, no. Hermes dreadlocks. I couldn't stop. But wait. Don't you care that I murdered Hermes? Not even a little. There's nothing wrong with murder. <laughs> Please, honey, I'm made of metal. Like you're really gonna hurt me with it. Hey, what are you doing with that microwave? Oh. No, no more murders. murders. Next time you feel like killing, just <laughs> have a stick of gum. <sighs> have a stick of gum. Of the body. So hip and sexy. Not like you at all. Oh, oh. Do you have any gum? No. No, oh, no. <laughs> Just a little less impulsive, and she murders everybody. I've called you all here to the parlor to watch as I gradually <laughs> solve the crime. Gradually. One of the people in this room is a big murderer. This is preposterous. Obviously, the murderer is... Oh. In Scruffy's opinion, it were... Oh, oh my god. It's just as I suspected oh my all god. along. The crime is unsolvable. What? Order from Bender, my good friend. Dear Dr. Jerkberg, <laughs> if you're Jerk reading Berg. this, I'm already dead. The person who killed me was... was... I'm bored. You're boring, Zoidberg. I'm gonna go watch TV. Could you get the lights on your way out? You know, I think I finally wow. figured out what's behind all these mysterious deaths. Was Planet Express built on an Indian graveyard? No. Oh my god. No? No. It was you! To make sure you won't talk, I'm gonna have to do something really impulsive. Oh, oh. So, Fry, what do you think of the impulsive oh, wow. new me? Yikes. I really like it. Oh. What if Bender was really giant? You idiot, we already saw that. I know, I liked it. I want to see it again. We're not seeing it again. That's <laughs> something less stupid. Oh, all right. How about this? What if I never fell into that freezer doodle and came to the future, Jiggy? That hmm. question is less stupid, though you asked it in a profoundly yeah. stupid way. <laughs> what the heck? It appears that the very fabric of space-time has ripped. What? Who are you monsters? Why would Aren't this you happen? Icy wiener? If that's his pizza, then I'm icy whatever. Hey, the usual Professor Hawking. No, today Hawking. I'd like something good. <laughs> has anyone ever discovered a hole in nothing with monsters in it? Because if I'm the first, I want them to call it a fry hole. There is nothing to be concerned about. There he is. Huh. Him. Who said that? Ah, hey, what the? Oh. I'm Al Gore, and these Al are Gore? the Vice Presidential Action Rangers, a group of top nerds whose sole duty is to prevent disruptions in the space-time continuum. You already know Stephen Hawking. Also with us are Nichelle Nichols, a.k.a. Commander Uhura. Incoming ah. transmission. <laughs> the time disruption indicates that some event was supposed to happen but didn't due to a quantum fluctuation. That's why we had it to was supposed to happen. Rackets. If we don't go back there and make the event happen, the entire universe will be destroyed. I was just kidding, but as an wow. Well, it's obvious what should have happened. That wang to the head should have killed you. Well, oh, what? no, 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 no. Let's finish the job. Ow! Ow! Nope. Something's wrong. Murder isn't working and that's all we're good at. What if Fry was supposed to get frozen? Yes, shove him in the tube. Here, take my plus one mace. Okay. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Universe destroyed. Wow. So apparently Fry's pretty important. That 
story was preposterous. Stephen Hawking in a pizzeria. This thing is worth <laughs> the gold it's made of. Oh. So that's what things would be like if I'd invented the thing longer. <laughs> oh, a man can dream, though. Uh. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Thing longer. But wait. If in the thing you saw yourself throw out the what if machine, does that mean the what if machine here? My brain! It's overwhelming me. Oh. Interesting that fries seem to be more important than we realized. I thought he just, I don't know, came into the world and uh, came into the future as an idiot and but the whole world would have, it's supposed to happen. And without it, I don't know, because things like things played out in a different way in the, those what if situations, and nothing, uh, nothing like substantially changed. Uh, Bender died, and he was five hundred feet tall, and that didn't matter. Like the world didn't collapse on itself. So why fry? Uh, unless, of course, again, I'm thinking too much about it, and. Nothing in the show really matters. Doesn't have to follow logic, but uh, yeah. So, turns out Futurama did a What If episode before Marvel ever got to it. To be fair, Marvel did it in the comics like 20 years before Futurama did it, but yeah, I love it when writers explore hypothetical situations uh, regarding their characters and how one tiny change can create like a ripple effect that changes a universe entirely. And we actually got to see three different scenarios, or four if you count the one, if you count the fact that the whole episode. Uh, with everybody looking at what-if scenarios was actually a what-if scenario in itself, uh, with Farnsworth wondering, what if he invented the thing longer? Which, of all the things he could be interested in seeing, he wants to see what if he invented the thing longer. Um, but yeah, within the hypothetical, Bender wonders what it would be like if he was 500 feet tall. Pretty interesting and terrifying scenario, uh, but he was built by a bunch of other Bender units, uh, has a rocket in his ass that can send him flying through space, came crashing down to Earth on top of Fry. Fry somehow survives, but I love that even in this alternate universe, they're still friends. Uh, it's really sweet. They're destined for friendship, playing hide and seek together. Honestly, they seem like better friends than in our actual universe. Uh, but of course, the US military attacks and we have Planet Express creating giant Zoidberg to take on Bender. Um, they probably killed tens if not hundreds of thousands of people just rolling around Manhattan during the day, uh, during the workday. Uh, before Bender somehow succumbs to a skyscraper through his torso, which I don't know how that kills him. I gotta stop trying to make sense of this show. <laughs> uh, but yeah, onwards to our next what-if scenario. What if Leela had just the tiniest bit more impulsivity? I think I prefer the current world so that everyone just doesn't wind up dead. Uh, she's kind of pushed to seeing what, uh, how impulsive she could be and what it would change just by seeing Fry being an impulsive idiot, uh, just pouring cereal and milk on his head. Don't you know you have to go milk first? I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm not a monster. Um, okay, seriously, you can pour your cereal however you wish. I won't judge you, even if you do it the wrong way. Uh, but yeah, Leela's body count. Uh, I think if we had enough time, it would probably have rivaled Bender's uh, body count. First, she killed Farnsworth to get his fortune after he named her his successor. Then she has to kill Hermes to cover that up. And... I mean, she could have just waited and been Farnsworth's successor. I mean, I guess with the age people live to in this future, it could be a few decades, but yeah. Um, then she kills Bender and makes him into a go-kart because he's trying to extort her. Um, interesting that he doesn't care about Hermes being murdered, though. Uh, I guess what's a little murder between friends, I guess. Uh, and then when Amy says something about her not being hip and sexy, Leela kills her, too. Oof. <laughs> and to think, like, the scenario was, what if Leela just got a tiny bit more impulsive? Um... I mean, if she was a lot more impulsive, I don't know how she would have made it to this point even. I don't know. But uh, I think once she gets a taste of blood, things could go very, very wrong. Um, but I'd be more worried about taking her off if I was part of Planet Express after seeing that what-if scenario. Though I guess it was just Farnsworth watching the, the what-if machine. Yeah, anyway. Uh, but yeah, Zoidberg tries to crack, crack the case and Leela just keeps turning off the light and killing people. It was really quite ridiculous. Uh, Qbert, the janitor. Not Fry, though. Interesting that with just a little bit more impulsivity, and she and Fry would be together already. Um, I don't know how many more seasons it'll take in the real world for them to get together, but for those who ship those two, uh, they got to see a little preview, right? 
But uh, Fry likes the impulse of Leela, even though we just established that uh, how sad he was without his friend Bender uh, in the previous What If. Like, she kills everybody, and he's just like, oh, yeah, I'm into that. So uh, <laughs> it's funny. And then the final scenario, as fun as that uh, last one was, I think this one was the most interesting. Fry falling into the crouch, uh, Fry not falling into the cryogenic chamber caused space time to rip. That's really, really weird. Um, I know I just said like 20 seconds ago not to try to make sense of this show, but if we take what happened seriously at all, there could be a whole host of implications. Uh, but there was this ragtag group of action rangers with Stephen Hawking, Al Gore, Lieutenant Uhura, and the guy who invented Dungeons and & Dragons and like a chess playing computer. Really, fu really funny, really odd. Um, but yeah, they say that Fry is supposed to go into, future, into the future, which nothing like that happened in the two previous What If scenarios. Um, so it's not like there's a timeline that they have to follow. So something is special about Fry. Uh, Al Gore said that if they didn't make that event happen, um, they didn't set him on the right path, the whole universe will be destroyed. So does Fry, like he has to do something in the future that affects his past, right? Because if it was just that he saved the future after traveling there, not going there would just doom humanity in the future. But the fact that it created this Fry hole, this anomaly, means that he needed to go into the future to be able to change something that happened in the past, right? Like maybe it's as stupid as like he sent a cheeseburger into the past just as he was about to die of starvation and he ate it and survived. But if he doesn't go into the future, he never sends that cheeseburger back into the past, and then he dies, and then he wouldn't be there to not fall into the cryo chamber. So, uh, it's it's a paradox, is what I'm trying to say. But I'm mostly just joking about the cheeseburger. But I think I have the basic concept right. Um, but what could he? What could possibly be the reason why Fry uh, could cause the end of the universe by not going into the future? And uh, it, there's also this like this temporal paradox, which. Uh, has to imply that he went into the past at some point. So there's going to be some time travel. If if the rules of this uh, episode, of this what-if situation holds true, um, that's what should happen. I don't know if it's just a joke and we're supposed to forget about it. I mean, Farnsworth, I guess, could be right. The what-if machine could be faulty. But then he's like watching that scenario in the what-if machine and he's like, oh, so that's what it'd be like if I invented the thing longer. So he still believes it works, even though the what-if scenario doesn't believe it. I don't... Uh, this is so dumb, but... uh. I really hope there's a bigger story here. Like, this show does a lot of silly, nonsensical things just for the sake of comedy. But, like, this could be really, really interesting if Fry needed to go into the future. Um, and, yeah, we haven't seen what it is yet, so that's so important. And I suppose I'll eventually find out if, uh, like, we'll get to the end of the series. And it might have just been, like, a wild fan theory uh, that never pays off. But I really hope it does. Anyway, fun last episode of the season. Um, what What if scenarios would you want to visit in your own life? What one small change could you make that could change your life forever? Man, if I was just a little bit more impulsive, I killed, killed I could have killed so many people. Such a shame. Uh, but all right, friends, thanks for watching. Leave a like, really helps out the channel. I'll see you guys uh, next time with more. Bye, friends.